This stitch is worked on a multiple of two. I have 16 stitches for my sample here. I'm using fingering weight yarn and US size 7 needles. So this is just like regular linen stitch except that you're using two colors of course. When you work this in one yarn it's a two row repeat. When you're using two colors you're going to work the repeat once in one color and then change and work it again in the other color. When you cast on I recommend that you cast on in one color and then do your first repeat in the opposite color otherwise you'll have a fairly large chunk of color along the bottom of your project. I've cast on 16 stitches in color A which is my pink yarn and I'm going to use color B which is my purple yarn to work the first repeat of the pattern. So row one you knit one, slip one with yarn in front all the way across the row. So knit, yarn in front, and slip. For row two, I'm going to keep using my purple yarn. And for row two, you purl one, slip one with the yarn in back. So purl, move the yarn to the back, and slip your next stitch. You just repeat that across the row. So if your stitch on the end is loose, you can just grab the yarn and pull on it gently and it will tighten that up. So that was the first part of the pattern. Now we're going to repeat those same two rows, but this time I'm going to use my pink yarn. So to change yarns, you just drop the color you're working with and pick up the next color. And I just wanted to mention when you drop your yarn, and pick up your second. See how this is hanging in the front here? You want to make sure that that is in the back. So just take the color that you were working with and cross it over top of the new color that you'll be using so that it is hanging in the back. So now we're going to repeat row one which is knit one, yarn to the front, and slip one. Now we're going to repeat row two again, which is purl one, and slip one this time with the yarn in the back.
So then after you've worked four rows of the pattern twice in each color, you just start over again with your other color. In my case, this would be the purple. So I just drop the pink yarn and I'm going to make sure that I bring my pink yarn over top of the purple yarn and that's going to hold that in place along the side here and you would just start again with the pattern from row one when you're ready to bind off what I would do is after you've finished on the second row of the pattern instead of binding off in the color that you're working on use the color that you would be working for the next repeat of the pattern otherwise you'll have a fairly large block of color on your bind off so I just wanted to show you this sample here really quickly this is some worsted weight yarn that I have and it looks like I have several different colors here but I used a solid blue and then this reddish pink color is a variegated yarn which is this here and so you can get a pretty cool effect by using a solid color and a variegated because of the color changes that happen in there. So that's just another little option that I wanted to show you as well.